In the first years of independence, foreign policy was of particular importance for Kazakhstan. It was important that Kazakhstan was widely represented on the agenda and that its activity in foreign policy met the highest standards. In addition, one of the bright and notable moments of Kazakhstan's foreign policy was the initiative of the first president, Nursultan Nazarbayev, to create the CICA, the Conference on Interaction and Confidence Building Measures in Asia. Расширение числа его членов, перевод в рамки и режим совещания по безопасности и сотрудничеству в Азии, создание общеазиатских структур по типу СБСЕ. Примерные сроки можно было бы провести в 1994-1998 годы. Such a proposal was quite unexpected for the head of the newly formed independent state, which had many problems against the background of the collapse of the USSR. Nevertheless, security issues in Asia have always been among the most acute and urgent. Many conflicts have been frozen for decades, and unlike in Europe, where the OSCE was established in the Cold War in 1975, Asia did not have such an organizational structure. They preferred to build interstate relations based on bilateral relations, as well as to resolve conflicts. In the second half of the 20th century, there were a large number of hotbeds of tension. The conflict between the nuclear-armed countries of India and Pakistan was particularly prominent. Serious historical differences of a territorial nature were also present in the relations between India and China. There were military clashes between Azerbaijan and Armenia around Nagorno-Karabakh. The Israeli-Palestinian dispute was not resolved in any way. That is why the proposal of Nursultan Nazarbayev was very timely. The Cold War was over, and the era of globalization was beginning. It was obvious that the Kazakh government had a long and painstaking diplomatic work ahead of it. This was seen as a great challenge for the young state and its leader. Intensive negotiations began with all interested parties, and ultimately, Kazakhstan's efforts began to bear fruit. The first real success occurred in September 1999 when the foreign ministers of 16 Asian countries met in Almaty. Because of this meeting, a declaration was adopted that established the general principles of relations between the official members of the CICA. In 2002, a historic event took place in Kazakhstan. The first summit of the Conference on Interaction and Confidence Building Measures in Asia was held. At the same time, the composition of the forum was very representative. The presidents of Russia, China, Pakistan, Turkey, Mongolia, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, and Afghanistan, the prime ministers of India and Azerbaijan, authorized representatives of Iran, Egypt, Israel, and Palestine, and representatives of the UN and OSCE observer states were present. This meeting was perceived undoubtedly as a great achievement of the foreign policy of the young, independent Kazakh state. It is noteworthy that during the first summit, a concrete result was achieved in the form of restoring dialogue between India and Pakistan, which confirmed the effectiveness of such a meeting. In 2006, the second CICA Leader Summit was held. Among other things, the issues of further institutionalization of this organization were discussed, so the CICA Secretariat was created with its headquarters in Almaty. In 2010, at the suggestion of North Sultan Nazarbayev, Turkey became the chairman of the CICA. Accordingly, the third summit of the association's participants was held in Istanbul. The fourth summit was hosted by the Chinese city of Shanghai, and the fifth and last summit was held in Dushanbe. Thus, as it developed, the CICA became an influential international structure. To date, 26 countries participate in the work of the CICA, including India, Pakistan, China, Israel, Palestine, Turkey, Azerbaijan, Afghanistan, Uzbekistan, and Kyrgyzstan, with the United States and Japan as observers. This picture shows the demand for such an organizational format. Looking back, we can conclude that the proposal put forward in 1992 by Nursultan Nazarbayev was correct, and despite the huge resistance of the difficulties, the Kazakh leader managed to bring his idea to a logical result. The first president of Kazakhstan, assessing the creation of the CICA, said 
The process of growth and development of the CICA has shown the openness, relevance, and viability of the meeting. In the eyes of the whole world, the CICA Forum has emerged as a promising macro-regional association. Reflecting on the future of the CICA, I hoped that in 2010, the conference would reach a level of dialogue and trust that would create the conditions for transformation into a full-fledged international organization. Now, at the beginning of the next decade, we can safely say that the forecasts of Nur Sultan Nazarbayev have completely come true. The CICA proved its worth and necessity to the entire international community, although back in 1992, many doubted that such an organization could appear in complete contradiction to Asia.